the other big story of the day, live in Mainers. We're going to take you there right now at 604, just one of the stops President Barack Obama will make during his trip to the Austin area. And to keep you in the loop of today's presidential visit, we've just learned that he'll make two executive orders while he's here. The president plans to launch competitions for three new manufacturing innovation institutes. Those are partnerships among businesses, universities, community colleges, and the government to develop and build manufacturing technologies. And the president will also issue an executive order requiring that newly released government data be open and available in machine readable formats. So that's data that was inaccessible or unmanageable before. The idea here is to make it handy for entrepreneurs, researchers, and others who can use the files to generate new products and services. Here's the logistics plan. The president will arrive at Austin Bergstrom International Airport around 1215 this afternoon. He'll then head to Maynard New Tech High School and from there he'll head downtown for an event at the Omni Hotel. If you're driving downtown today, look out for no parking signs. Cat Metro is also changing some of its routes in this part of town. In the afternoon, it's back up north to apply materials for a presentation at the high-tech company there. The president will then head back to the airport, so expect delays in this area starting around 5.30. And here's the tricky part. We don't know the exact routes of the motorcade because of security reasons. The president is expected to first visit students at Maynard New Tech High School. Maynard is planning some road closures. They're not giving us specific reasons or specific details on that for obvious reasons, security. So they are asking people to keep up with the city's website and to log on to Facebook and Twitter for their updates. Cakes and Sophia Beausoleil is live there now and explains why um, the president's making a stop over at that high school. Hi. Good morning, Sally. Well, let's just take a live look right now. You can see they've got everything set up. They have the podium back there, the risers behind it, the American flag, and all the chairs. And actually, this morning, we've been watching as TV crews have been getting ready. The Secret Service has been going around the building and so forth, getting ready. But Maynard New Tech High School fits into the category for President Obama's tour, the Middle Class Jobs and Opportunity Tour, because the school prepares students for the real world when it comes to jobs after high school. So President Obama highlighted in his State of the Union speech that the middle class is the engine for economic growth and the school believes its curriculum mirrors his message. Students at Maynard New Tech High School focus on job skills and opportunities that are available right now, specifically when it comes to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We realize how huge this is and everyone kind of takes this experience and takes it back home with them and can tell their kids, you know, yeah, I met the president. All of what we've been doing, our hard work and all of our project-based classes has been noticed. And actually, right after the election, students wrote a letter to President Obama asking him questions about the um, ec economy when it comes to immigration and a whole array of other issues. And he will be back in Austin later on this afternoon once he leaves the high school to talk to local entrepreneurs. And then he will leave here from Austin around 5.30 this evening. Reporting live in Maynard, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. All right, Sophia, thank you. The president's visit is the first stop of his middle class jobs and opportunity tour. He's arriving after the Labor Department released the April jobless numbers on Friday at 7.5%. That's the lowest in four years. This is all despite the sequestration. Still, though, there's room for improvement. In fact, the latest Texas numbers show a 6.4% jobless rate. That's better than half the country. That appears to be in line with what we've learned about the president's visit to the Omni Hotel downtown. He's expected to meet with entrepreneurs at the Capital Factory. The downtown office is a co-working space for startup companies. It helps foster growth and innovation. Governor Perry is speaking out about his plans to meet the president on the tarmac at ABIA this afternoon. Here's what he said about the message that he wants to hear from the federal government. The government in Washington, uh, frankly, can, can be of most assistance by saying, you know what, we're going to get out of your hair. We're going to quit trying to make one size fit all. We're going to allow you states to compete. And we will carry the president's arrival live on KXAN News at noon. Sally will be at the airport for the president's arrival. Our broadcast will extend beyond the noon hour, though, to bring you coverage of the president's address at Maynard New Tech High School. We'll also have live coverage of his remarks at Applied Materials. That's expected to happen just before 5 o'clock this afternoon.